This simple streamer pattern works particularly well for bass as well as trout. To tie it, we'll start off with some black thread. We'll then grab some gold wire, secure it to the hook shank, wrapping slightly into the bend of our hook. Return your thread roughly to the barb and begin wrapping your gold wire forward until you reach your thread. Doing so in close touching spirals, ensuring that there's no gap left behind. Once complete, secure with your thread, reverse your gold wire, securing it back in the other direction. We'll then select two olive grizzly saddle hackle, measure them to be about one and a half times the hook shank length, carefully stripping away one side of the remaining fibers. With this complete, we'll secure it to the back of the fly, trying to trap as few fibers as possible, folding the remaining fibers over and securing them in the opposite direction. Once complete, we'll grab some synthetic dubbing. Here I'm using a blend of olive, copper, and green. Create a dubbing noodle and begin to wrap it forward in closed touching spirals, building up a transition as we move towards the head of the fly. Be sure to continue to tighten and add more dubbing as needed. Once complete, build up a small thread base for our next steps. Grab our remaining saddle hackle and fold it over the top of the fly. Secure with your thread and snip the excess free. Next, we'll grab our gold wire and begin to counter wrap our dubbing as well as a saddle hackle to help secure it in place. In doing so, try not to trap too many fibers in the process. This can be a bit tricky, but just take your time and continue this process until we reach the head of the fly, at which point we'll secure our wire with our thread, taking thread wraps both in front as well as behind and helicoptering the excess free. We'll then grab another olive saddle hackle, pull our fibers backwards, snipping away the tip, leaving us with a small tie in point. Use this to secure it towards the head of the fly, beginning to hackle it forward until we reach our thread. Doing so in close touching spirals, brushing the fibers backwards to ensure we don't trap any. With this complete, secure with your thread and snip the excess free. And use your thread to give it a brush back look. With this complete, we'll whip finish to hold everything in place. Snip our thread free, grabbing some eyes of your choice. Here I'm using red. Turn our fly on its side, adding a small drop of UV resin and carefully positioning our eye in place. Fix with the UV light and repeat this process to the other side. Once complete, we can help secure these eyes in place by adding a few dabs of UV resin to the upper and lower side of our fly. And this is our finished streamer. If I'm being honest, I actually forgot the name of this one. However, it's a great pattern to use for trout and can work quite well for bass in its larger sizes. I'd highly suggest giving it a try. And if you'd like to win this one, comment hashtag flies in the comments below. Thank you for watching, subscribe for more, and I will see you in the next one.